Come on, dog meat. Sorry, I just needed some air to process things. I didn't want to go it alone, but I was worried about confronting Mora and the others. You understand? It's just, I tried to make the wasteland a better place. Don't look at me like that. I really have. But I feel like every time I've had to compromise. I had to work with some institution or another. And sometimes it worked out. But sometimes I'm not so sure. I had to purge two notable members of the Brotherhood. And I helped them nearly wipe out the Enclave. But now the few surviving Enclave members are going to work with the Brotherhood plus the outcasts on Maddox Island? I just don't know what to do anymore. They're all compromised. Sometimes I think I should just start my own faction. You have no idea what I'm saying, do you? Literally talking to dogs because I'm too scared to face my family. What's this signal that popped up recently? Huh, why don't we go check this out, okay? The signal is stronger this way. What is that? Is this an encrypted signal or something? It's getting clearer! Still seems encrypted somehow. Wait, what the fuck? Is that a spaceship? How did 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 it crash? This is where the signal's been coming from. Yeah, that's... Is, is that an actual alien? <sighs> you know what? This is dangerous. Hey, hey, dog meat. Uh, I need you to find something for me. Why don't you, uh, uh, could you help me out? Fetch alien gun. Pew, pew. I see it down there. Come on, boy. Whoa, okay, that worked. It, uh, this is another alien blaster, but it's hot, it's warm. Awesome. It's even burned a bit from the crash. Dog me, uh, we might as well get that ammo. Why don't you get the little glowy things? They look like this. Good boy, go get some more, okay?
All right, good boy. Thanks, dog meat. Get more. Dog meat. Is that all of it, boy? Okay, well, let's take a closer look at the corpse. Let's see. Oh, what? Dog meat, get help, I'm being abducted. Wait, wait, maybe they just want to meet me? Yeah, maybe they heard about me on the radio. Uh, imagine what we could learn from them. Oh, that's right, some have tried before. America reported a crashed spaceship back in 2062. On the evening of May 3rd, 2062, an alien craft of unknown make and origin did indeed breach the airspace just north of Hackerston, Maryland, and crashed into a heavily wooded non-residential area. We are not alone. Although China had squirreled it away before they could get it. <laughs> yeah, see, this is a vertebrate. And then this is... Wait. What? I've never seen a ship like this before. There must have been at least one other crash though, because Enclave had an alien blaster, and a lot of other facilities had access to their ammunition. Alright, can't wait to get into the armory. Bitch. Holy shit. How did the Enclave get their hands on alien technology? Like the Capital Research Center? Definitely never seen anything like them. Hmm, it seems to be a general research facility. Doesn't look like they specialized in anything. And the McBritish Institute? Are you seriously telling me that after 10 years and 20 billion dollars, the best you and your people can come up with is we don't know? T Baxter. Yes, we don't know. We just don't know. And the only power works. What? Alien power cells? This must have been a government lab. And Vault 98. That must be where Jimmy found that rifle. Oh, I've never seen anything like this before. Whoa, what the fuck is this stuff? Not sure how to feel about an advanced alien society making weapons, but hey, weapons are cool. Wait, what? How do you get a hold of alien power cells? And wait a minute, is this an alien weapon? Plus, there was that strange alien toaster I found near Alton. Imagine what other technology they might have, what insights. This toaster clearly has powers beyond the control of an average human. It was you. This device just pretends to be a toaster, it has to be a weapon. That's right, this species of aliens were called the Zaydans. They're basically Eldritch aliens. They're so bad they didn't even go after us first. There were these other aliens they slaughtered. Right, the Zaytans. Uh, there's some other aliens, much weaker, but they had quite the technology. Apparently not everyone's so nice out there. Well, come on Zaytans, let's chat. Uh-huh? Hey, hey. Hey, I... I'm, um... Angel. Who... Who are you? What? What are those things? No? Wait, no? No? No, 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 no! Hey! 
Hey, hey, you okay? You all right? About time you woke up. I was starting to think maybe they'd fried your brains or something. You got a headache, right? Don't worry. That'll get better. I don't know if it'll matter, but it'll get better. They must really like you. At least they let me keep my clothes. Looks like they stripped you of everything. Oh, God damn it again. Uh, who, who are you? What are you doing here? Me? I'm the same as you, I figure. Went poking around someplace I shouldn't have, and now I'm paying for it. So you and me, we're stuck here until they decide they want to prod us some more or worse. Man, I can't believe this. This is what you call, what is it, irony? Hell, I don't know. What is ironic about being abducted by aliens? Do you have any idea what they want with us? Your guess is as good as mine. I can't understand what they're saying. I don't remember half of what they did to me. And that might be a good thing. Ugh, I know we ain't the only ones. There's a whole bunch of us in here. They'll pluck folks out every now and then. Sometimes they bring them back. Sometimes they don't. Either way, I ain't keen to find out what they're doing. So who are you and why are you in here with me? You've got it all wrong, kid. You're in here with me. This is my little slice of heaven, not yours. Not a good time for jokes, I guess. Look, I don't know why they put you in here with me. Maybe it's another experiment. Not like I can ask them to find out. But since you asked, name Soma. Beyond that, I'm thinking not much matters if we're going to stay stuck in here. Right, so how do we get out of here? I've been here for a little while, but haven't found a way to... Shit, you hear that? It's coming again. Get back against the wall now. Oh shit, okay, okay, okay. What is it? I hear it. What is it? A claw? Well, at least it wasn't coming for us. Oh, is that, that the thing that plucks people out of here? Oh no. It's got someone. Shit. How are we going to get out of here? We got to get out of here. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe now you can understand it's a good idea to get the hell out of here? If we can, what the hell was that thing? Where are they taking that guy? What? You've never seen a giant metal claw scoop somebody up and carry him off to who knows where? I don't know where they're taking him, and I'm not interested in staying here long enough to find out. We got to get out of here, kid. Now. Well, do you have any idea how we get out of here? Okay, yeah. Let's do something about getting out. Well, there ain't no easy way out. Trust me. I've looked. Can't even find anything to pry open. See what's blocking the doorway. I'm thinking they did us a favor, putting us together in here like this. And I say we use it to our advantage. What do you mean? What kind of advantage? They're keeping an eye on us, you know. Watching us. So I say we give them a little show. Give them a reason to pay a little extra attention to us. I mean, I'd be down to fuck you, but I don't think they'd be interested in watching that. They want us alive for something. Who knows what? Point is, if it looks like one of us is going to kill the other, they'll step in to stop it. So that's what we do. We throw a few punches, make it look real, and then jump them when they come in to break it up. Oh, that kind of role play. Okay. Um, so we get out of the cell and then what? Hell if I know, but at least it's a start. It's better than sitting here waiting for them to experiment on us even more. Yeah, fair enough. How do I know I can trust you? What if you try to kill me? You gotta be kidding me. You always this paranoid? Think about it. You've been lying here a while now, out cold. If I wanted you dead, why wait till now? 
I could have just made sure you never woke up. No fuss at all. But I didn't, did I? So yeah, I'm thinking you can afford to show me a little trust. Now, are we doing this or what? All right, all right. Fine. Go ahead and hit me. All right. I'll hold back on you. Make sure you don't get too roughed up, okay? And you be ready. Soon as they come in to get us, you take them down. Okay. Right before the fight, Soma discreetly passed you a switchblade to help deal with the aliens. She whispered that the aliens had done a shoddy job at confiscating her things, and that she had managed to smuggle it in. Don't ask how. Oh, thanks. This will be good for when they get in here. Let's let's do this. Yeah, we're really fighting now, aren't we? Okay, okay. Uh, Ow, that go really down. hurts. Get down. I hate you so much, you gotta die. Hey, kid, be careful. Come on, make it look good. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, uh, take that. Ow, hey, not too hard. And that. Ow, hey, not too hard. Play along better. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Ow, Come hey, on. not too hard. Okay, now's our chance. Okay, okay. Oh. 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 I got it, I got it. Oh, my head. Anything useful and let's go. Who knows how long it'll be before they send more after us. <sighs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, they, they got those batons, right? Let's use those. They weren't expecting us to have a knife. There were more out there. Oh, you got the baton. Okay, I'll use it too. Let's go. Can we get these open? Maybe we can get other people out too. Ah, too late for this person. Wait, they were from the pit. I recognize that disease. They must have been inducting people from all over. Still, there might be some people left alive. <sighs> Another one's dead. An enclave hat, though. Ugh, good riddance. There's so many dead bodies. Oh, this one was a raider. They're not very gentle, are they? Oh, hi! There's someone actually alive. I'll wake up any minute now. Just need to wake up. It's not a dream. You're really in here. I'll wake up any minute now. Just need to wake up. She's not listening. We'll come back for her, okay? Let's go. What are these machines? Wait, looks like they have some kind of logs in them. My pit boy can read these logs. They seem to not have been able to get it off of me. Let me listen to these. Uh, maybe we can learn more of what's going on. Oh, no way. No way. This is a bad dream, right? I'm dreaming. Shit. <laughs> That's you, so Soma. What, I'm being held hostage now or something? I'm some kind of prisoner? Listen. If this is because of what we did, I just work for those guys, okay? It's not like I enjoyed it. I was just in it for the caps, all right? Can I go now? Uh, yeah. Worked for who? Yeah, I know. 
Who did you work for? Okay, we gotta find a way out of here. Yeah, I know. Uh, do you have any idea where we are or how to get back home? Not a clue. I'm hoping we can get some answers once we get out of this place. Okay, okay, fine. Look, I'm glad we're still alive too, but can we celebrate later? Like, maybe after we actually get out of here? Okay, okay. Well, this is just ridiculous. I demand to see whomever's in charge. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know. Ow! What the? Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? Let me guess, this is yeah, the young clave guy. Yeah. Ah! Stop it! I am a U.S. Senator and I oh, warn shit. you, if any harm comes to me, you'll bring the full wrath of the U.S. military upon yourselves. What? Where are you taking me? Get your goddamn hands off me! You'll all pay for this! The U.S. doesn't bargain with it! Someone didn't make it to the simulation. But that shows you how powerful these aliens are. They even abducted senators. What are we gonna do? They just threw me in the cell with you after they poked and prodded me, and now I just hope they won't kill us! Just take it easy. If they wanted us dead, we'd be dead. They must need something from us. Yeah. They need us for food or something. You saw that guy. He was all cut open, like he'd been butchered. Oh my god, we're gonna be next. Hey, I said calm down. If they hear you, they may come for us. Try and take it easy. No, get us the hell out of here. Someone get us out, please. Oh, shit. I said to shut up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I did that. Please forgive me, but we need to keep our heads on straight if we're going to survive. Please, please. I just want to go home. I just want to go home. Oh no, they abducted lots of people. How long have they been doing this? Is is this thing recording? Okay, I think I think that means it's going. Uh hello. Uh my name is I'm I'm Representative Smith. I represent uh Vault City for the New California Republic and I am on an alien spacecraft. It's like what you used to see out of the archives of the old science Fiction. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, so they're they're distracted right now. They're they're dealing with someone else, some 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 girl that seems to be bothering them or whatnot. I I need to warn people. I need to warn somebody. I wasn't the first to make one of these recordings. Uh, they 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 make people record before they start cutting them open or storing them in a, in a tube. If it looks like you're wearing something interesting, I I don't know. Their thing about clothing is weird. Uh, so just just a heads up to whoever whoever else is gonna be going through this. Uh, they completely disrobe you. They they make you naked. Well, okay, not completely. They seem to be pretty bad at this. Very callous. They treat us like cattle. Like. It's like they like they leave the hats on sometimes because they can't tell us apart. I don't know. They gave me this writing utensil so I could write my name down in my hat. And they've been doing that with a few people. And sometimes they just leave the underwear on. Sometimes they give you a rag. I just... It's, it seems like they, they weirdly, like, seem to be taking interesting people, and they take their outfits, like, there was, there was this cowboy in a tube I saw, and I don't know where his clothes were, uh, I think they must have taken it to some special section to study or something, I, I, they're aliens, how in the world would I know this? I just, I'm just, I'm just letting you know what I see, and what I'm seeing is freaking me out, um, so, so please, if anyone hears this, warn somebody. If you can get a message out to the surface, if you can stage a revolt, I don't know. When they get back here, I'm not gonna make it easy for them. I, um, I, I went to the, I went to the, the outskirts once. Like, I left, I, I left Vault City to go to the NCR and we had to, we had to travel through the wasteland a few times. I mean, I had protection the whole time and some mercs to, uh, oh my goodness, I'm not gonna make it to my, uh, 
Okay, um, okay, so I just, I was, I was going to go to the, uh, to the Capitol to argue against the Mojave campaign and my, the other representatives, they didn't, they didn't support that. They just wanted to, uh, they just wanted statehood for Vault City, the elitist, a bunch of them. Uh, so, I guess that's not going to happen now if, if you, if you're hearing this, honey, and my little Susie, daddy misses you. Be strong. Okay, they're back. Okay, I'm gonna punch him. <laughs> oh shit, that was from after the war. <sighs> no. They've been doing this for hundreds of years. That guy was from the NCR. They've been doing it across the planet. And I guess that's why I don't have any clothes on. Well, uh, at least we've got weapons. I think we can do this. Oh, this archway <sighs> makes me feel better. I think it heals you. Looks like more logs. Where am I? Where's my sister? Oh no, a little girl. I can hear some weird noises, but I can't see you. Why is it so dark in here? What's this machine? Please, someone talk to me. I want to go home. Please, where's my mommy and daddy? I just want to go home. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. What? Oh my God. No! Stay away from me! Get away! Oh no, poor little girl. I hope she got away from them. What? Talk into this thing? Just talk? I, I don't have to do anything else? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Ow! All right! Ow! I said all right! Just stop! <sighs> hello. Um, hello. My name is Andrew Endicott. On the night of May 17th, the year of our Lord 1697, I was... I was taken from my home in Salem Village. Oh, whoa. I... I do not know where I am, exactly, or why I came to be here. I've seen through... windows, the stars, and sun, and beloved Earth, down there below me. So it would seem I am aboard some... vessel, suspended in the ether. Ironically, it would seem so close to where I thought heaven must surely lie. But this is not heaven, and my captors are not angels. I'm not entirely unconvinced that the scripture is wrong, that heaven and hell are reversed. For my captives are devils, demons from my nightmares. Even now they watch me, make me talk. They seem to want me to tell my story. I know not why. A record of their deeds, perhaps? Or am I just a pawn in some, some evil game? And there are others, other captives, I mean. From whence they came, I cannot say. Some wear strange dress, as if they are from a different time. And some are frozen, as in ice, unmoving, but... I think, alive. I believe they plan the same fate for me. Will I be frozen too? Will I... Oh, I, 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 Ow! 
Stop it. I did what you said. You wanted me to talk, so I talked. Just leave me. Leave me be. He was from Salem before America even existed. I think they have them do the recordings as some scientific formality? Some kind of information gathering. Yes, yes, I understand. I I've seen the others. I I'll do what you want. This is Dr. Morrison Rand, professor of anthropological archaeology at Banfield College, Humboldt, Oregon. Shortly after 10 p.m. on August 16th, 2041, as I was leaving the college campus headed to my car, I saw a blinding light. I it just appeared I in the sky. Directly over me, I was blinded. I also found my body completely immobilized. I, I couldn't move. N not at all. What happened next is hazy. I don't remember much. What became clear later, uh, what is certainly clear now, is that I was abducted. I am now the captive of an alien race, one of many people held here against our will. And like those others... I am recording who I am. Why? Because the aliens want us to for some reason. They have us do it right before they put us into some kind of suspended animation. These recordings. It's almost as if we're creating our own library catalog entries before we get put into a giant collection. The entire experience would be fascinating if I weren't so completely terrified. <laughs> Uh, wh what? Stop. You want me to stop now? All right, all right, see? I'm stopping. I wouldn't be surprised if he was right about these recordings. But I haven't seen anyone in sus some kind of suspended animation yet. I wonder what kind of technology they use for that. I wonder if they made me do a recording. If so, I don't remember. On the screen here, I see little icons of weapons, but I don't know what currency I'd have to use. Hello? Oh! Hi! Hi little there! Girl. Listen, can you let me out of here? Yes, what the hell of is course. This thing? What are we supposed to do with it? You have to shut that off to open the door here. Well, not really shut it off. More like blow it up. If you turn off the coolant, it'll get really hot and then explode. So be careful. Okay? How do you know this? Uh, okay, okay. I'll I'll try to open it for you. All right. Oh, I see that little holograph holographic thing showed what it was gonna do. Some type of small generator. I guess I turn these off. It's supposed to heat up now. Oh, I see. It blew up. Oh no, the alarm went off. We have to go. Thanks. Are you escaping? Do you want to see the rest of this place? I've seen a bunch. I can show you if you want. Uh, uh all right, kid, lead the way. Come on. Great. The hell? Where's she going? She knows more than we do, apparently. Follow her. Poor girl, she can't be older than like 13. Oh, great. Well, so much for that idea. She suckered you good, huh? I'm sure she's just going the other way. I mean, what was that about having trust, Soma? See? I told you I could help. Yeah, great job. How did you do that? 
There's wires and stuff inside the wall there. A while ago, I learned which ones to put together to make the doors work. There's all kinds of stuff in the walls, but I guess you're too big to see. But that's okay. I can get to it just fine. Come on, we need to get to the big engine room so I can show you the rest of this place. I can help you even more. Uh, but how do you know so much about this place? Oh, I've been here a while. A long while. Sometimes I can sneak out of my cell and go explore. I've seen a bunch of the ship. It's pretty neat. But they always catch me and put me back here. Oh, you're the troublemaking kid that Log mentioned. Are you all alone? Where's your family? I don't have any family anymore. My mom and dad died a while ago, before I ended up here. You know, back when all the bombs dropped on everything. Yeah, it was right after that. And then me and my sister, we got pulled up here. Except, I haven't seen her in a long time. Oh, they adopted you 200 years ago. But they preserved you. They probably didn't do the same for your sister. Do you know where we're going? Sure. We need to go to the big engine thing, and then from there we can go up to the top of the ship. That's where the guy in charge is. I've only seen him once or twice, but he's extra mean. I guess you'll probably have to kill him or something, huh? Uh, I guess so. They don't seem intent on communicating, so violence it is. I'll stay right with you. Come on. Don't lose it, okay? We can get through this. Oh, whoa, this one's missing its skin. What did they do to him? Ugh. Oh, no. Wait, these tattoos, I don't recognize them. It must be some type of tribal person. All right, let's go. Don't lose it, okay? We can get through this. Listen, I know how this shit works. We all go together, and we all get wiped out at the same time. No offense, but I'm gonna hang back for a bit. You need someone to keep an eye out behind you anyway. Don't worry, I'll catch up with you soon enough. Alright, fine. Make sure none of the aliens follow us. Come on, let's go. Oh, there's one in there. Shit. <laughs> They're physically pretty weak. You're able to use their weapons against them. This might open that door. Yeah. Let me check these other containers, though. I'm going to need all I can get. <sighs> this one's empty. A baseball bat. Huh. Oh, here's that Enclave guy's weapons. Oh, yep, here's a helmet and a tape. This is strange. What is this? Sure, Colonel Autumn. I'll take on this super important assignment for you. You want me to watch grass die? You want me to find some paint, hope it's fresh, and then watch it dry? Oh no, you want me to watch a random cue. Well you betcha, I'll be right on that, Colonel. This dumb cube that some excursion dug up from some facility is completely pointless. But it's my job, Colonel, to figure out what it does. Not, you know, help subdue wastelanders or that brotherhood menace. No, cube. One of the scientists said it needs a power source, like a big one. Nothing we had worked. Said we need some sci-fi crap from the future to be able to fissure this freaking cube apart. So unless time travelers or aliens drop by, the cube will do what the cube does best. Nothing. Ugh, grinding didn't help calm me down at all. I'm gonna go for a walk. Well, 
I mean, we're on an alien spaceship, so we might be able to find something. But wait, this is a cube from a government facility. This related to Cube Experimental or something? Welcome to the Cube Experimental Station 1. We wish you a convenient stay here at Station 1. You'll be given instructions shortly. Please do not ask any questions and keep to your instructions. Come on, Sally. Let's keep going. <laughs> 